Hello. In this figure, we have a triangle with the given vertices A, B, and C, and we need to find the coordinates of the circumcenter. The circumcenter of a triangle is the point of intersection of the three perpendicular bisectors of the sides of the given triangle. So, if for each side we find the midpoint, then we draw a perpendicular, then these perpendiculars will meet at a point called the circumcenter. The circumcenter is also equidistant from each of the vertices. Therefore, it represents the center of the circle that passes through these vertices. Now, to find the coordinates of the circumcenter, we will start by finding the midpoint of the line segment AB. The formula for the midpoint of a line segment with the endpoints x sub 1, y sub 1 and x sub 2, y sub 2 is x sub 1 plus x sub 2 divided by 2 and y sub 1 plus y sub 2 divided by 2. So then, to find the x coordinate, we will add negative 2 and 0 and we will divide the result by 2. And to find the y coordinate, we will add 3 and negative 1 and divide the result by 2. So again, the x coordinate of the midpoint is negative 2 plus 0 divided by 2 and the y coordinate is 3 plus negative 1 divided by 2. Then negative 2 over 2 is negative 1 and 3 plus negative 1 is 2 and 2 divided by 2 is 1. So the coordinates of the midpoint are negative 1 and 1. Next we will find the slope of the line that passes through these two points. The formula for the slope passing through the points x sub 1, y sub 1 and x sub 2, y sub 2 is y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. So then, using the given points a and b, we can write that the slope denoted by m is negative 1 minus 3 over 0 minus negative 2. Then negative 1 minus 3 is negative 4 and negative 4 divided by positive 2 will be negative 2. So the slope of this line is negative 2. So, so far we know that the midpoint of the line segment AB is negative 1, 1 and the slope is negative 2. Now from the midpoint, let's draw a perpendicular. The slope of the perpendicular is the opposite reciprocal of the slope of the given line. So if the slope of this line is negative 2, then the slope of this line will be positive 1 over 2. So let's write that the slope m equals 1 over 2. And now we have this line that passes through the point negative 1, 1 and has the slope 1 over 2. Then we can use the point slope form to write the equation of this line. So we will write that y minus 1 equals the slope 1 over 2 times x minus negative 1. Then y minus 1 equals 1 half x plus 1 half. And now if we add 1 to both sides, then y equals 1 half x plus 3 over 2. And this is the equation of this perpendicular line. Now let's pick another side of this triangle and apply the same steps. For example, let's choose the side BC and start by finding the midpoint. To find the x coordinate, we will add 0 and 3 and we will divide the result by 2. So we will write 0 plus 3 divided by 2. And then to find the y coordinate, we will write negative 1 plus 2 divided by 2. Then the midpoint will have the coordinates 3 over 2 and 1 half. Next, let's find the slope of this line. The slope m equals 2 minus negative 1 over 3 minus 0. 
then 3 divided by 3 will be 1. So now we have the midpoint with the coordinates 3 over 2 and 1 half and the slope 1. And now from this midpoint let's draw a perpendicular. And if the slope of this line is 1, then the slope of the perpendicular will be negative 1. And that is because the opposite reciprocal of 1 will be negative 1. Now once we know a point that belongs to this line and the slope, then we can use the point slope form to write the equation. In this form x sub 1 will be 3 over 2, y sub 1 will be 1 half and the slope m will be negative 1. So then y minus 1 over 2 equals negative 1 times x minus 3 over 2. If we remove the parentheses then y minus 1 half equals negative x plus 3 over 2. And if we add 1 half to both sides then y equals negative x plus 2. And that is because 3 over 2 plus 1 half is 4 over 2 and 4 divided by 2 is 2. So the equation of this perpendicular is y equals negative x plus 2. And as you see from the graph these two perpendiculars intersect at a point and this point is the circumcenter. There is no need to find the perpendicular bisector from this side because it will still pass through this point. So now we need to use these two equations to find the coordinates of this point of intersection. For this let's form a system of these two equations where the first one is y equals 1 half x plus 3 over 2 and the second is y equals negative x plus 2. And if the left side of each equation is y then we can write that 1 half x plus 3 over 2 equals negative x plus 2. So again 1 half x plus 3 over 2 equals negative x plus 2. And now if we solve this equation for x then we will find the x coordinate of the circumcenter. To remove the fractions let's multiply both sides of this equation by 2. Then 2 times 1 half x is x and 2 times 3 over 2 is 3. On the right side negative x times 2 is negative 2x and 2 times 2 is 4. Now let's move x to the left so x plus 2x equals 4 minus 3. Then 3x equals 1 and x equals 1 over 3. Now let's replace x into one of these equations to find the y coordinate of the circumcenter. I will choose the second one so y equals negative 1 over 3 plus 2 then y equals 5 over 3. So then the circumcenter has the coordinates 1 over 3 and 5 over 3. I hope you liked this video and thank you for watching.